friends of mine have two toddlers, boy and a slightly younger girl. While on a car ride, the boy pretended he had a lollipop, yes, an imaginary lollipop, and refused to share it with his sister. It escalated to the point that the girl was bawling her eyes out, screaming for him to share this non-existent lollipop, and the mother screaming at the son to share the damn lollipop. I, slowly, walked up the stairs with my son trailing behind me. I heard him wailing when I reached the top, turn around and see him full-blown sobbing, face down on the stairs. Unbeknownst to me, we had been racing and I won. One threw a fit because the other flushed their own pee down the toilet. Then a fight broke out over whose pee it really was and who should have flushed it. She's a bit young for words so I'm going off wriggles and tears but she wanted to be put down. But when I put her down she cried and asked to be picked up. But when picked up would try to wriggle free of my grasp. Repeated this a few times until I realized I couldn't win. One of my friend's kids had a full-on meltdown because she hadn't eaten her ice cream yet. Not that she couldn't eat it. She could. It was right in front of her. It was her dessert. But the fact that it she had to go through the process of eating the ice cream in order to get the end point of having eaten the ice cream and being happy seemed intolerable to her. And hash X200B. Watching little humans come to grips with cause and effect is mind-blowing. My daughter cried because she couldn't wear her red shoes. My wife gave in and put them on her. My daughter then threw an absolute fit because she was wearing red shoes. My kid had a crying fit because I pulled the dog food out of his mouth and told him he couldn't eat. It Bath time every day. Five minutes of fighting to not take a bath. Once in the bath they don't want to get out. My two-year-old son got very upset the other day because we wouldn't let him drive the car 200 miles home from holiday. A day, a day, a day, a day, a day, a day. I pulled her chair out to enable her to get up to the table. Too far. Then she pulled off her own socks during her tantrum as your tantrum too ensues. Because my socks, quote, quote, my 2YO son has been eating only his pink colored play dough. He doesn't put any other foreign objects in his mouth. I had to hide from his set every shade of red because he learned mixing white will make pink. It's been a full blowout every morning with him asking for red play dough. He's going figure out that he can color white with red magic markers. My sister's toddler had a full-on meltdown because his pasta was taking too long to cook. When it was done he didn't want it. Also, he took a dump under their bed that day. She got put in time out for hitting her baby sister. She did perfectly fine through the whole time. But when I told her she was all done. She collapsed on the ground crying. Why? I want more time out. Quote, 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 quote. With my son, everything is no. Wanna go to bed? No. Wanna eat a snack? No. Wanna play with your trucks? No. So, bit of a fight to get him to do anything without intervention. It got to be so bad he'd say no to his own suggestion. Play trucks. Okay, let's play trucks. No. But you said play trucks. Yeah, okay, let's play. No, quote, buddy, it was your idea, quote, no, quote, on and on it went. For an hour, found my wife in the kitchen absolutely dying trying to keep it together. Edit, we do try the thing where we give him options. But it's still a lot of no's. He's either smarter than that trick or is just brute forcing his way past it.